Today's video is 21 days into my intermittent fasting. I'm feeling kind of rough today, but not from the fasting. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Sean Green and if you are returning as a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, let me give you a quick rundown of who I am. Ex-NBA ball player, got fat, trying to get skinny. This video and this channel is all about sports and wellness and also a little fun. So let's go. Okay. Quick little rundown. You can see the videos in the description. Week one, week two. But this is week three. 21 days. 21. Quickly, I lost my craving for carbs and sugar, which was what I wanted to do. I'm down about nine and a half pounds. Yes! Yay! So let's quickly talk about how we can speed up weight loss during intermittent fasting. If you're doing a 16-8 or whatever fast you want to make sure during the fast you want to get some kind of workout in. And I'm not talking about hardcore. If you're a walker, you can put a backpack on, throw some books in it, and go for a walk, okay? That'll make the walk a little bit challenging. Do what you can do. I basically do run workouts and cycling workouts. So make sure you always work out fasted. And a little tip is look to try to get the afterburn. Remember when people told you right after you work out, you're gonna miss your window, you gotta make sure you eat something. That's not for everybody. That's for people that wanna build, like body build and things like that. The afterburn is the workout is over, your body is hungry for something, and you tell your body what? You're hungry, eat that fat ass I got. Eat the gut, eat the excess around the man foods. You wanna eat, go to town. So that's the afterburn. So give yourself a few hours after the afterburn to just let it, let the body just try to eat itself. Eat and eat and eat and eat. Two, most important, don't eat on your fast. No matter what it is. I made this mistake week two. You know, I didn't keep myself busy with things, so I started thinking about food. And you know, I grab a little cashew here and there. You know, a little celery stick, things like that. All these things break your fast and they just put a kind of kick in the butt to what you're actually doing. So just, you know, be mentally tough, don't nibble. Three, do some kind of strength work. Calisthenics, push-ups. I do push-ups, I do dips, I do air squats. I hate to lift. When I was a basketball player, I used to have to lift. It was my job because you had to do it. But now that I'm not getting paid to hoop, I don't do it but I don't want to be saggy. I want everything to be tight. You have a toy body. Yes. I see that from your toy pants. So when I do body shots, which I'm dreading, then you'll see the difference between when we started and present body. Most important, make sure you get your sleep. You need to get your sleep. If you get eight hours, that's eight hours that you can't eat because you sleep. As we get sleep, the body tends to try to recover and build and do stuff. But if you're not getting any sleep, your cortisol levels are gonna rise, you crave carbs, you eat the carbs, they don't satiate you, meaning they don't fill you up, and you're gonna to continue to eat carbs. If you haven't noticed you have a carb day, it leads to more and more carbs. It's because it just feeds your cravings. So you don't wanna do that. Last but least, don't listen to friends. Friends will say that you're crazy. Real friends will support you. Those fake friends will say, you're crazy. You know, what are you doing? This and that, you're killing yourself. And in actuality, you're not. You're healing yourself. Because the body wants to heal itself. Work out. Make sure you get the afterburn. Don't break your fast with nibbles, okay? Just tough it out. You're strong in the mind, you can do it. Three, do some kind of strength and resistance. So if you're doing cardio and strength during your fasting period, you're gonna really sizzle a lot. Sizzle. And for it, don't listen to the friends that are trying to discourage you, all right? Everything is about you being focused and you working towards a goal. Remember, intermittent fasting is not a quick fix. It is a lifestyle, it is a way of life, and you have to be patient. I hope you enjoyed this little quick update video, and I'll see you next week with 30 days and a new video. If you want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Any questions, drop a comment below. A lot of people go through fast differently. They affect the body completely different. But if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. All right, so talk to you later. Peace.